Hello YouTube, it's Robin back again. I have had a request by uh, one viewer to, and this surprised me actually because I think my hair is terrible. <laughs> I hate my hair, but really, who who loves their hair? Who goes around saying, I love my hair so much, it's just so fabulous, and if they did, uh, that would be one annoying person. I would find it hard to be friends with them, even if their hair was gorgeous, and I agreed. But, um, yeah, that doesn't mean you can't go around sometimes, you know, one day saying, oh, my hair's really good today. In fact, if my hair turns out well, uh, in my opinion, I'm, I'm almost in shock, and I'm like, hey, it's looking good. Uh, but that does not happen very often, and today I find it fluffy. Uh, anyway, enough about my hair. Well, no, one one more thing about my hair. Why did I get onto it in the first place? Someone asked me to show how uh, long uh, the longest layer, and that is the right at the front of my hair, how long that is. Um, so, which hmm. bear with me, people. Right, I'm gonna leave half of my hair head, face rather, free, and yeah, it's quite long as you can see, oh sorry, it wasn't really cut that well, or maybe it was, and I can't tell the difference, but as you can see it's quite long, it comes way past my chin, actually if you pull it down right now, good, five, six centimetres past my chin, um, I don't think it's short enough at the back, so I think I would actually like it to be, um, a bit more extreme from the back to the front. Um, that's if I was going to go for this hairstyle again. Uh, uh, I have problems with hairstyles. Uh, my hair is just very wayward and doesn't really like to do what it's told and I'm clueless when it comes to hair and a little bit with makeup too so anyone have any tips as to what I should do hair and makeup wise uh, feel free tell me. Um, bear in mind um, I'm not very good at that kind of thing and I am one of these people who if I put on too much makeup I, I feel like, um, I think Dream Flight 6000 said something similar, I just feel fake, it just it looks fabulous on some people, it's either me, my skin or the way I'm applying it, uh, it just doesn't look right if it's too much. Anyway, enough about appearance, uh, let's move on to uh, other things what this whole video is supposed to be about. Um, right, this video is about my uh, thoughts and feelings on having number two. Uh, I mentioned in a video recently that I want to, we are hoping to start TTCing uh, sometime from say August, September onwards, but it may even be December that we actually get around to it. Um, uh, we're holding off because we're building a house um, and because I have a few kilos to lose. Um, I don't consider myself really fat or anything. In fact, I, I know if I think about it, seriously, I'm not. Um, I'm only just over a, a healthy BMI for my height and um, yeah, I could probably, if I really worked hard on it, I could get down to uh, under 25 quite quickly, easily. But um, I don't want to do it too fast because I plan to get pregnant. And um, I don't know if any of you saw Catherine Zeta-Jones after she did Chicago. She, and she is one beautiful woman from the same place as I am, from the same city, Swansea, in Wales. I don't live there now. So don't go looking there for me. I won't be there. Anyway, Catherine Zeta-Jones, uh, she worked out madly uh, when she did Chicago and lost quite a bit of weight and then got pregnant and as a result of if I, I and I believe this um, seriously if you lose a lot of weight quite rigorously too fast uh, and then get pregnant you're gonna go and that is actually a bit what happened to me last time so I want to avoid I, I want to give myself really some leeway for the next pregnancy and uh, be healthy in good uh, tip-top conditions, so actually going like a bullet at a gate, um, trying to lose weight really fast would not be uh, a very good idea. Right, uh, so that's why we're waiting off a bit. Um, yeah, how do I feel about having another child? Um, I, I was thinking about this 
right just now when I was hoovering actually. Uh, yeah, typical mum getting some housework whilst uh, uh, whilst my son is asleep. I um, I feel compelled, and I don't know if this is my body clock ticking away. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to be 33 soon. <laughs> um, I I don't know if it's my body clock ticking away, compelling me to have another child. And um, I could say I want to have another child, and yes, I do. I know I want to, but it's not so much that I feel. Deep down, I must have another child. It felt the same way with Luca. I, I just something went uh, click, and um, it was. Uh, and I, I thought, not that I must have a child. I knew I was going to get pregnant. I don't know. Don't ask me why. I'm, I'm seem really weird. Um, I'm not saying I'm a clairvoyant or anything like that. Um, I do believe there are some people with gifts who can uh, foresee or have very strong feelings about some things. I do get very strong feelings about things, but totally random. And um, it could just be my sub uh, subconscious telling me what I'm wishing for. And um, there are loads of very practical explanations for many, many things. And yet also there are more things between heaven and earth that we, than we can explain away. Uh, right. Yeah, but my feelings on having a second child, because I'm rambling about everything else under the sun. Yeah, I feel compelled to have uh, another child soon and if it were really up to me I'd be like yeah let's make it now um, but uh, and I'm you know going through the practicalities of it I'm going oh it, you know it, it would be a, two children is supposed to be a lot of work and I I miss my job oh, seriously if I'm totally honest I really I love to teach and I miss my job but uh, the desire, or the desire, or this compelling feeling to have a second child is overriding everything, even overriding, um, yeah, uh, my common sense in some cases. Because, as I said, if it were up to me, I'd be getting pregnant like almost now. Uh, but you know, luckily my husband's a bit sensible. <laughs> um, and I'm wondering if any of you have these similar urges, actually, it's an urge, compelling urge, um, or did you have them with any of your children? Uh, tell me about it. Or were you really sensible, did you sit down and go, right, this is when we're going to have baby number one, this is when we're going to have baby number two, etc, uh, etc, et because um, I believe having a plan is good, um, having a plan in, in place is a good idea for life. However, I am also a firm believer of life is what happens whilst you're busy making other plans. And um, my life is a testimony to that, believe me. And please leave comments in the box below because otherwise I'll feel all on my lonesome. Um, yeah, I don't want so many subscribers I can't handle them, but I wouldn't mind a few more. Hint, 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 hint. Please subscribe, rate, comment. Bye bye.